Okay, let's get right into it. Welcome to part two of my Muppet collection. We're going to start here with Pops. There's my version of Pops that I made. Um, and we're also going to show you, along with Pops, uh, Uncle Deadly. So here's the side profile of my Uncle Deadly. And there you have them, Pops and Uncle Deadly. Now, um, just to get that out of the way, those are going to be the last two uh, characters that we'll see today that Palisades made. So everything else is, uh, well, actually, um, I guess we'll go right next, uh, Menomina and the Sleuths. I also made them, Palisades made them in the smaller version. Um, but there you can see I have Menomina and the Sleuths as well. So, on to the more obscure. This is the, I'm pretty excited about this one. Okay, so continuing on here, we have uh, Mildred Huckstetter, we have George the Janitor, we have Hilda, we have Wayne and Wanda. All uh, pretty forgotten characters here. Um, and, uh, you know, George's puppet has been reused um, in some films, like uh, Muppet Christmas Carol, but uh, for the most part, these uh, are all forgotten Muppets that I've, I have in my collection here. Next here, uh, as we know, there's only room for uh, one lady on the Muppet Show, really, and that's Miss Piggy. But uh, some of the ladies who tried to give her a run for her money are uh, the large afroed uh, Annie Sue Pig and Miss Mousie, who was used more in the first season and then pretty much not at all. And, uh, here I just wanted to show by himself my Louis Kazagger. I think he's a cool Muppet, I really... Uh, he's one of my favorite ones that I've done here. There's Lewis. Next up here we'll do the relatives. Uh, we've got J.P. Grossi, that's of course Scooter's uncle who owns the uh, Muppet Theater. And uh, I did this based off the comic version. We have Skeeter, uh, grown-up Skeeter. That would be Scooter's uh, sister from the Muppet Babies. And of course Ma Bear, who is, you know, she's in the Christmas special and some other things. So Here we've got Fleet Scribbler, the uh, gossip columnist who... Uh, had a short stint uh, backstage on The Muppet Show. What would The Muppet Show be without some dogs? We've got Baskerville Hound and the Afghan Hound here to go along with, uh, you know, the insanity of The Muppet Show. You just kind of have all these random extras to go along with it. The Afghan Hound was most recently in uh, the new newest Muppet movie. And the members of the orchestra who weren't members of the Electric Mayhem, we've got Nigel here. And uh, the ill-fated trumpet girl who was replaced uh, once uh, Lips uh, joined the band. And uh, she actually, her puppet's been redesigned a couple of times. She used to, was added to have eyes also. And um, actually I believe she was in uh, the newest Muppet movie as well with eyes in it. But um, there's her original design with just the eyelashes going on there. The Obscure and the Insane, I uh, decided to make the Flying Zucchini Brothers, uh, you know, the Flying Cannonball Act, as we see here. Brother in the middle, who ends up getting in the actual cannon. Puts his little helmet on there, he's ready to go. <clears throat> For people out there who say, you know, that there weren't many women on The Muppet Show, I can give them many examples of women who were on The Muppet Show, but just very obscurely. And I've made them out of clay here. We have Zelda Rose, who was uh, in the background a lot of times, but she did have the one on stage act with the owl, which one day I should get around to making the owl. And then this is just a um, high-pitched voice whatnot, who's seen in, um, featured in the At the Dance scenes. She had the really high-pitched voice like that! And, uh, you know, like I said, I've been working on more and more obscure characters lately, so. Here we have Lou Bach Lou's Jug Band with uh, Lou Bach Lou here, Slim Wilson, Lou, Gramps, Bubba, and uh, Zeke, of course. Um, they were members of the uh, Happiness Hotel and the Great Muppet Caper and made various uh, appearances on The Muppet Show. Um, these, these are some of my favorite ones. I'd like to see them come back, um, you know, in some form uh, back in the and then new Muppets, that'd be cool if they brought Lubak Lou's jug band back. Here I made Bobby ba Bobby Benson's baby band. Um, and uh, I think these were great little puppets. They all had uh, 
kind of like warped Cabbage Patch dolls almost, you know. And I tried to capture some of the different faces that they all could make because the puppeteers could scrunch their faces and make them make weird faces. So I did that, and then you got Bobby Benson here with the cigarette hanging out of his mouth, having a good old time. And here we have uh, the ladies who make up Jerry and the Atrix, minus Jerry. I haven't made Jerry yet. There's two puppets that were used as Jerry from Jerry and the Atrix, and I haven't decided which one I want to make. Uh, I should probably just make both, but I uh, haven't made either of them yet. But I want to just include this since we did the jug band and Bobby Benson's baby band. I also want to put Jerry and the Atrix, or just the Atrix in there. Um, two of these ladies have been redesigned to be men. This one was uh, the butler in um, Muppets from Space, and this one was recreated to be a man um, in the uh, Muppet Christmas Carol. And these two ladies stayed ladies in the Muppet Christmas Carol, which I thought was funny, too. And uh, the tuba player, just who knows what happened to her. Uh, so there are the ladies of the Atrix. So that concludes this video. Now you see the top shelf Muppets who we went over in the last segment. And uh, that was the uh, second shelf Muppets, the supporting zany characters and obscure people who make the Muppets the large family that they are. And just as a little teaser, next episode we will be going over the dark side of the Muppet Monsters. See, meeting all of them close up. So, look forward for that. Hopefully I have room enough on my phone, but until next time, thanks for watching.